How forces work. Contact and non-contact forces explained for kids. What is a force? Imagine force as a big, invisible hug or a gentle nudge. It's what helps you open a heavy door or close a drawer. So, whenever you need to make something move or stop, you call upon the force to lend you a hand. There are two main types of forces. These are called contact and non-contact force. Contact forces are forces that happen when two things actually touch each other. Imagine playing with your toy car and pushing it across the floor. When you push the car, you're using a contact force. Here are some common contact forces. Pushing and pulling. When you push a door to open it or pull a wagon, you're applying a contact force. Your hand is touching the door, that makes it contact force. Tension. When you pull on a rope, the rope gets tight. That's because you're applying a contact force called tension. You can feel this force when you play tug of war. Bouncing a ball. When you bounce a ball, you're pushing it into the ground, and the ground pushes it back up. That's a contact force too. Friction. Have you ever tried sliding on a slippery floor with socks on and then on a carpet? It's harder on the carpet because of friction. Friction is a contact force that happens when two things rub against each other. Non-contact forces are a bit like magic because they can affect things without touching them. Let's explore some of these magical forces. Gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls everything with mass towards each other. That's why you stay on the ground and don't float away. It's what keeps the planets in orbit around the sun. Magnetism. You've probably played with magnets before. Magnets can attract or repel things without touching them. This is a non-contact force called magnetism. Static electricity. Rubbing a balloon on your hair and then sticking it to the wall is a fun example of static electricity. The balloon and the wall attract each other without touching, thanks to this force. Electric forces. When you plug in your electronic devices, you're using electricity. Electric forces make your devices work, and they can act over a distance without touching. Remember, contact forces need things to touch each other, while non-contact forces can work from a distance. So, the next time you play with your toys or notice something happening around you, Think about whether it's a contact force or a magical non-contact force at play. Thanks for viewing. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.